In this video, I will show you how to dump your PS4 disk game, pack it as a PKG file, and install it to the console. All will be done on firmware 6.72 and for 6.72 only. So, let's get started. You need a PS4 with firmware 6.72, and you need to choose your favorite exploit host menu. In this video, I use the one made by Dark Mother VC. And you need a PS4 game disc with the maximum firmware of 6.72. Please make a note that some discs are not dumpable, and some won't work after converting them to PKG format. And of course, you will need an external hard drive which is formatted as XFAT to store the dump games. Download the all-in-one package from the link in the description, and you need WinRAR to extract the archive later. First, let's insert the game into the PS4 and let it install for a while. And leave it until it reaches the main menu. Minimize the game by pressing the PS button. And plug the external hard drive to any of the PS4 USB port. Now open the internet browser. I assume you have already chosen your favorite exploit host menu. Select new exploit. Then run the dumper payload. As soon as you see the welcome to PS4 dumper notification, minimize the internet browser and get back to the game. Please act fast. This works for most games, and to be honest, it is a little bit tricky. If you see something like this, please be patient and wait for a while. But if it stays like that for some time, you can try to redump the game or give up, as maybe the game is not dumpable. Let's leave the dumper payload to work, and hopefully, it will start dumping the game. I will crank up the video speed a lot so you won't get bored. Finally, it starts dumping the game. Let's leave the console for the time being. And after 15 minutes, the console will automatically shut down. It means the dumper payload has done its job well. Don't be surprised if the payload says shutting down, but it is rebooting in reality. We can leave the console for now. Plug your USB hard drive to your computer. Then you will see three items with its correct title ID for its successfully dumb game. And there should be a file which says complete. And don't worry if the patch folder doesn't contain any file in it, as the most important thing is you have some content inside the app folder. Now extract the all-in-one package into a folder. Now open the extracted folder. We need to check the trophy status of the dumb game. It should be unencrypted, or else the game won't work. So drag the app folder into the helper executable file. It says the trophies are encrypted, so we need to dump the unencrypted trophy from the game disk, and we need to use the FTP payload to get the job done. But if the trophy status are already unencrypted, then you can skip the next section. On this screen, please make a note of this NPWR ID. You will need it later. Reload the game. Then minimize the game. Go to settings and enable the internet connection. We need to do this because we will use the FTP feature to dump a trophy from the disk. Now reopen the internet browser. Select New Exploit. Then select the FTP payload. Then 
then make a note of the IP address and the port number. I assume you already have an FTP client software. In this video, I am using WinSCP. Select FTP as its file protocol. Type in the IP address and its port number displayed on the console screen and enable the anonymous login. Enter the user folder, then the trophy folder, enter the con folder, then get into the correct npwr folder. Remember when I told you to make a note of the npwr id. Select the trophy.trp file and drag it to the desktop. And you can close the FTP software. Open the extracted archive and open the USB drive. Navigate to the app folder, enter the sce underscore sys folder, and open the trophy folder. Delete the existing trophy file and drag the trophy file we got from the game disk into the folder. Then rename the file to trophy00.trp, all in lowercase. Now go back and drag the app folder into the helper app. You can see that the trophy status is now unencrypted. Let's move on to the next step. Open the GenGP4 app. Click the browse icon and select the app folder. Then press generate GP4. and save the GP4 file to the USB drive. Open the fake PKG Tools folder and run the RB's PubGen. Select file, then choose Open. Select the generated GP4 file. Then press Build. Select and enable the modifiable package file. Then press Select, choose your USB drive, and save it. Then press Build. It will take a long time to finish. You can relax a little bit. In my case, it took 20 minutes to pack the dumb game files as a single PKG file. We have generated a single PKG file, but we need to patch it so we can use our currently saved data and avoid errors. Run the patch batch file inside the fake PKG tools folder. Now find where you put the PKG file. In my case, it is on drive G, so type in G. Now you need to find the path to the keystone file of the dumb game. Open the app folder, enter the sce underscore sys folder, and right-click the keystone file. Highlight the location info, right-click, and copy it. And paste it to the patch command prompt window. Then find the generated pkg file name. So get into the root of the USB drive, Select the PKG file, right-click, and select Rename, and copy the file name completely. Then paste it to the command prompt window. You won't see any warning and errors. Now we will install the game to the console. Plug in the USB hard drive to the console, and minimize the internet browser. Select the game, close it, and delete its data. Get back to the settings and disable the internet connection.
reopen the internet browser. Select new exploit. Then select the homebrew enabler. Minimize the internet browser and open the settings. Move the cursor down and select debug settings. Select game, then select package installer. And press the circle button to install the PKG file. Press the PS button to get back to the main screen and try running the game. And there you go, the game runs flawlessly. You can try my method with other games and hopefully it works well too. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.